Why, 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 why? Very close this week. Sorry, it was the only way I could get the cameras in for you to be able to see this. I thought we'd take a look at the Nord Wave 2 today. So I haven't shown the Nord Wave 2 yet. I'm really enjoying this synth. I've had it for about a year at this point. Um, when I first got it, and you know, I did quite a lot of research before I bought it. When I first got the synth, I was a little worried that realistically how far can you go with a single oscillator and and really what can we do with limited synthesis options that's not where the power is in this synth realistically it's all about layering the sounds today i thought we'd use the layering in an interesting way one of the things that i would have really loved to have seen on this synth is a good shimmer reverb and the Cathedral Reverb is really a nice, lush reverb, has some nice modulation to it, but it doesn't quite give that feel that a good shimmer reverb does. So I thought I'd use the layers to create the illusion of a shimmer reverb. So we'll get rid of, we'll get rid of that uh, Jean-Michel preset and let's just grab an empty slot. So we've just got a saw wave. So the first thing I want is a piano sound. There's this one I really like. So you've got standard piano sounds. Bit too house. Nice, but I really like this one. It's just got that almost Celeste piano sound. I really like that piano sound. Let's put some reverb around it and I'm going to use the cathedral. We're going to use a lot of cathedral today. It's nice. Now we do have an EQ section here, which um, it's probably a bit, probably a little bit muddy in the middle, but I think I think once we create the shimmer sound, that's going to be okay. So how are we going to do the shimmer sound? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that string sample. And I'm going to add a delay to it. And I'm going to move it way up to high. Now let's add some Let's add some delay. And we'll go back to our friend Cathedral. Now you can go pretty crazy on the reverb. Um, I'm, this is going to be an effect in the background. It's not going to be the primary. It's not the primary sound. So you can, like I say, you can go pretty crazy with the reverb and because it's in the background, it's not going to mud up the mix. All right, so it just sounds like very legato strings at the moment. Let's get a bit clever. So let's grab a saw wave. So say I wanted a super saw wave. Normally I'd grab my second oscillator, which I don't have on this synth, detune, and you'd have your super saw wave. On this one, if you go into your waves, if you go into analog waves, 
it's already made for you. So. little bit of filter so what I'm gonna do is let's turn both of those on once again bit of cathedral bit of delay and let's add some modulation All right, so let's try that with the piano sound. Sort of they're missing something. What normally you, so what I'm going to do is on the final layer, I'm going to do the same again, but I'm going to add I'm going to add it in a different I'm going to add it in a different semi tone. Reverb. Um, what I might do is we'll just move around the balance a little. Literally, I'm, I'm just mixing to taste. Yes, that might be it. So as I said, the Nord Wave, while at first may seem very limited, the more you think about the layer function, the more you play with the layers and you use the layers to do interesting things, the more complex the overall timbre and quality of the sound becomes. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll chat to you next time.